So I've been doing production in this studio for a couple of years now, normally using the Neumann TLM-103. And so one day, some prima donna yanks out our TLM-103 and replaces it with the Neumann TLM-193? What is that? Hey, what's going on? Thanks for stopping by. It's Low for Low Nose here to help teach and inspire you through audio, video, and tech. Uh, make sure to hit that subscribe and bell button so you don't miss out on any future videos just like this one. All right, so they switched out our TLM-103 with the TLM-193. And there's a couple of us sharing this studio. And then after a while, we're like, hey, does anybody think this microphone sounds like way better than the TLM-103? And all of a sudden, we're like, yeah, right? Like, 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 what the hell is that? We thought we were kind of, we thought we were losing this beast of a microphone, the 103, and we were kind of getting like a downgrade. Like someone actually just kind of like opened up their claws and like, yeah, let's take this microphone. Let's just give them something to work with so they can just like put stuff out on the air. But, okay, so here we go. We have the TLM, uh, the TLM 193. Um, I've been using this microphone for a couple of years now, and I've actually grown very accustomed to actually like this microphone. Uh, let me give you a couple details about this microphone first. First, it is a cardioid uh, microphone um, where it's got the heart shape pattern. Um, it offers very low, a very low noise floor around negative 10 decibels. And Norman actually promotes this microphone as a large diaphragm mic reduced to the essentials, but with no compromise in quality, featuring cardioid directional characteristic and a classic design. It sounds like a lot of mic speak to me, but regardless, I love the sound of this microphone. I'll also post uh, a lot of the extra details of this microphone right now on the screen, so you can go, a go ahead and pause the microphone and actually take a look closer at the details. Go ahead. All right, so I'm sure all of that made plenty of sense to you, but you really know how this microphone sounds. You really want to know how this microphone sounds and how does it perform under different scenarios or conditions. Unfortunately, we are not going outside today. We're just focusing inside on this microphone. So um, let me go ahead and give you like a couple uh, of tests for using this microphone. So first, since this is a cardioid microphone, let's actually test out its um, the, the surrounding characteristics of the microphone. All right, so right now, this is a front addressing microphone, so I'm talking directly, directly in front of it. And let's see what happens when my voice starts going off to the side. This is what the microphone sounds like when I'm actually leaning off to the side, the left-hand side, my left of this microphone. And now I'll come over here, and this is what the microphone actually sounds like to the right side of the microphone. And when, when we get actually get close to the uh, microphone, let's actually test its proximity. And this is me on the microphone up close and personal. And let's start getting further away from the microphone. I'm probably like maybe one foot here and two, foot, two feet here and three feet here and four feet here. All right. So we got a good sense of what this microphone sounds like when it comes to the proximity and the ranging around the microphone. Um, also, as you can see, we're not using a pop filter or any kind of sort of pop filter. So we're going to put this one on. I really don't like this one. It's really foamy and thick, and if you ask me, it kind of like muffles a voice, but it really helps against plosives. So this is what this microphone sounds like with this pop filter on this microphone. Let's go pow, 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 pow. All right, so whether it worked or not, who knows? I don't have any headphones on. That's what it sounds like. Um, to actually give you some kind of a sibilance test, uh, let's go with uh, sizzling sausage, sausages uh, slam slickly. Sizzling sausages slamming slickly. S sizzling sausages slamming sickly. I just made that up. But there you go. There goes your sibilance test. Um, and with other tests, let's do a what did you do today, today at a minute or two to two, a thing distinctly hard to say but harder still to do. Uh, for they'll beat a tattoo, a 20 to two, a rat ta 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 two. And the dragon will come when he hears a drum at a minute or two to two today at a minute or two to two. Um, amidst the mist and coldest frost with barest wrist and stoutest boast, he thrust his fist against the post and still insist he sees the ghost. Um, is there any other one? Um, red leather, yellow leather, red leather, yellow leather, red leather, yellow leather, red leather, yellow leather. Okay, so... Um, okay, that's one. And now here's one thing. Um, normally, if you're like maybe you're into broadcasting or something, you'll actually address the microphone like this to the side, so you're not actually, you know, causing any kind of popping into the microphone. So this is what the microphone sounds like when you're addressing it from the side and just having kind of 
pick up your voice on that axis right there. Like those invisible laser beams coming out of my mouth and then coming from the side, it should be picking up right here. Uh, so this is what it sounds like when addressing the microphone from that way. And also to buy time here, let me give you some kind of more spoken word. The TLM-193 is a large diaphragm microphone with a cardioid polar pattern. With this microphone, Neumann continues its long tradition and is offering high-end technology at an affordable price for musicians and the home recording studio. So I've gotten very comfortable with this microphone over the years, and I started wondering, well, what, what's the big difference between the 193 versus the 103? After doing my research, as we all know, the 103 has a presence boost uh, when it comes to that microphone, giving the, everybody that full, big, bodied, rich sound. When it comes to this microphone, this microphone is more of a flat type of microphone. I'll give you like a comparison of, of what their polar patterns, not their polar patterns, whatever, their EQ, whatever, the, what you call this. Here, this is what they look like. You can see the difference. This is more of a flat microphone. Um, and when EQing and producing with this microphone, I find it very easy to actually EQ this microphone because it is such a flat pattern, um, not flat pattern, it's such a flat microphone. So whatever I do in post is essentially, I'm just affecting what I hear in real life. There is no additional coloration like you would get from the 103. Okay, so what kind of interfaces can we connect this microphone to? Well, right now I'm using the Zoom H6 Handy Recorder, and I've probably got my levels probably between like six and five. And another thing about this microphone, it advertises that you don't need a big time, big expensive preamp to power this microphone. It says it'll do a great job on like lower end preamps, like, you know, $99 preamps uh, or, or audio boxes or no, in audio interfaces when powering this microphone. So like I said, I'm using a Zoom H6 right now. But since we are in the studio, um, let's connect this microphone to the compressor or the voice channel that is normally set up in this studio. Okay, so this is what the microphone sounds like connected to the voice channel strip within this studio. I believe the voice channel strip is called like a Syntex some number or another. Um, I'll show you a picture of some B-roll footage right now of what the microphone, uh, of what the voice channel strip looks like. Um, but yeah, so what you're probably hearing now is probably a little bit more of a fuller depth coming from the microphone. At least that's been my experience, uh, experience with uh, the, the voice channel strip that's installed here. Um, and also that's also got a, uh, an aggressive gate as well. That, that's just the way they have it set. As you can see, like the thing's all like cage up and everything. So it, it is what it is. Can't touch anything. And that's going into this mixer, the Tascam DM4800. So this is what uh, the TLM 193 sounds like on the SysTat, whatever it's called, the voice channel strip connected to this mixer. All right, let's get back to our handy recorder. Okay, so we're back recording on the Zoom H6. And as I was doing my research for this microphone, I was, I was already very comfortable with the sound of this microphone, but I had to get some more details uh, for you guys about this microphone. But as I was doing my research, uh, a lot of places advertise this place as a value microphone. I'm like, wow, okay, it's a, it's a value microphone, all right. So I checked out the price of what the value microphone cost, and it was $1,600. How is that value? The TLM-103 is normally around $1,300 or $1,100. This is a $1,600 microphone. It's a value microphone. I Someone please explain that to me. I considered value maybe like the, the Shure SM7B, like maybe like a $300 microphone. That sounds like a value. Um, $1,600. I don't, I, don't, I don't know where you're hanging out to kind of like, say, yeah, $1,600. This value. Oh, whatever. You know, they, they can say whatever they want to say. They can promote whatever they want to promote, but uh, that, that that was not actually the uh, the lingo or the verbiage coming from Neumann directly. That was on like third-party sellers calling it a value microphone for $1,600. Either way, if you're interested in the microphone, I will leave links down below so you can check out more reviews or get some more information for yourself, or if you want to purchase the microphone, click on that link as well. Um, and then you'll have your option, or you can you have your fun with this microphone, the very nice flat microphone um, that I've, I've come very much to enjoy working with. All right, guys, that is it for this impressions video of the TLM-193. Um, any questions or anything, feel free to leave comments down below. Definitely want to know what your thoughts are on this microphone. As always, leave a like if you like the video. Subscribe if you want to see more videos like, to, like this one. Go ahead and check out the channel for other microphone videos and tutorials and things like that. Hit me up on my social medias, Low Nose Sort Of, and also join the Loco community, that's the Low Nose community, um, on Discord, low notes. Until next time, guys, I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.